What's going on guys, Andrew Pillick Hockey here back for another video and today we're going to be discussing the latest rumors surrounding Eric Carlson and there's been some interesting news regarding a couple Canadian teams that might be linked to him. So uh, it, it was just reported that maybe there was a possibility that Eric Carlson was hoping for competitive offers from the Ottawa Senators, obviously a team that he played for for many years, and the Montreal Canadiens, which would be really uh, weird, I guess. A lot of people probably didn't have those two teams at the top of their prediction for Eric Carlson to go there. But again, this isn't, this is just speculation. This isn't something that's like 1 million percent, oh yeah, he, he needs these offers. This is what he's expecting. And this is exactly what he wants. Maybe he's just hoping uh, that that those teams are in it maybe that helps drive up the price but the source uh, according to this source they also said that Carlson's wife who is from the Ottawa area uh, is homesick and would love to move back to the region and the source also adds that as far as he knows the Toronto Maple Leafs and Buffalo Sabres the two other teams close to Ottawa are not on Carlson's list which doesn't surprise me I don't I don't think Carlson would want to play for either of those teams but the Senators and the Canadians both seem like odd fits but at the same time if you're asking me the the Habs would seem like a better fit they have a ton of cap space to work with and um you know they, they have a, a pretty decent team let's not forget the Canadians were pretty competitive this season more competitive than people expected and they could be looking to upgrade they've been linked to guys like Matt Duchesne of course it's super early for that but they've been linked to, to bigger name players and if Eric Carlson was interested they maybe they're they're interested in bringing in uh, Eric Carlson again. He's not the the biggest uh, name when it comes to the defensive side, but when it comes to offense, Eric Carlson's got it on lock. He he's a very very talented offensive defenseman, and I mean with the Senators, they're in rebuild mode, and and they just traded him. Eugene Melnick is still there. Like I, I don't see why Carlson would want to go back there and, and deal with him again. And that's something a lot of people are bringing up. But I think that that's the first thing that I thought of when I heard this news. And again, like, like I want to keep bringing this up to you guys. This isn't like, oh, it's a guarantee. Carlson wants to go back to Ottawa. It's just maybe because uh, he wants to help his wife who is homesick. Maybe he's considering going back. And with maybe with you know, the the right dollar amount, maybe Carlson does want to go back and maybe he's going to talk to that regime and say, hey, listen, things need to be done differently this time. And you guys have lots of cap space and, you know, I, I want to get paid. And maybe Ottawa would offer him more money than, than most, does, uh, most teams do because they need to get to a cap floor. And, I mean, I don't think that they've been linked to any huge free agents, but that they might be looking to bring in some bad contracts with good prospects attached to it or good picks and work that way. I'm not sure what their plan is this off season, but uh, Elliot Freeman basically said on Saturday's headlines, uh, or he said it before, but this last Saturday's headlines, uh, he said that he believed that if there was a chance that San Jose was going to re-sign Carlson because they are competitive and Carlson does want to win, that uh, it was going to be very soon that you were going to hear about that. And by the time this is up, uh, maybe there's already an answer. But uh, he, he was basically saying that San Jose, if they're still in the running, that they're going to they're gonna know about it pretty soon. The other thing he said, too, was that there was always a sense that Carlson preferred to stay in Ottawa, uh, but the lack of confidence and ownership made it impossible, and that's what I was bringing up. But let's just take a look here, first of all, at Cap Friendly. Like I said, it's saying that the projected cap space for Montreal is over $11 million. I think they'll have a little bit more room to work with, so they could obviously fit that in because uh, a lot of people figured that uh, Car Carlson is going to get big, huge money this year, but I can't see it being uh, like over 10, 10 and a half. Like I, I think that maybe I could be wrong, but that's that's where I think. I mean, Doughty, what did he just get paid? Like 11 million bucks. That's the money that he was looking for before, but... I just don't think because of his injury history that teams would be willing to, to go that high. And to be honest with you, Doughty is overpaid. And I love Doughty. He played for Guelph, where I'm from, my hometown. I was born here. And he was a great community ambassador. He still does, uh, I think he still has a box in Guelph at the at the arena and uh, where the Guelph Storm play. The OHL champions, by the way, almost won the Memorial Cup, but they fell short in the semifinals. Useless information, but if you wanted to know that, there you go. But uh, Doughty's overpaid. That, that's just how it is. And I don't think that teams are willing to do that with Carlson either, even though he brings up a lot of points. But uh, the Ottawa Senators, $35 million in uh, projected cap space. They're going to want to use up some of that, and they could with bringing back their, their former captain. But 
All right, looking at uh, Carlson. So he's 29. You know, he's still at a decent age, but you're going to have to lock him up for, for a long time. And, I mean, that that's up to teams if they think that he'll stay healthy that long. I hope he does. I, I think Carlson's a fantastic player to watch, and he's very dangerous offensively. So, last season, um, well, his last season with Ottawa, the 2017-18 season, he had, what, 62 points in 71 games. And, again, he's been he's battled injuries, so that's pretty good. The year before that, he had 71 points. The year before that, 82 before that, 66, 74. Like, he's just, you're you're basically just a sure win to get a guy that has at least 60-plus points if he stays healthy. Uh, and then with San Jose, 53 games played again. Injuries got him. He had 45 points. So, just fantastic numbers, even battling uh, the injury. And then this year in the playoffs, 19 games played. He had 14 points. So, the, or sorry, he had 16 points uh, in 19 games played. 14 assists is what he had. But that... Those numbers are fantastic. He's still a very, very good serviceable defenseman. And teams are going to be interested in that. He puts up a ton of points. But the biggest thing is going to be that um, he can't stay healthy. And if he can, then it's a, it's a whole different ballgame. But you got to keep him uh, away from you know the injury bug. And, and that's, that's going to be the toughest things for teams to lock down and sign Carlson for. But it seems like San Jose still wants him uh, to at least consider staying, or they, they really do want him to stay. But uh, if Ottawa and Montreal make competitive offers, that Montreal, that Montreal team would be interesting to watch if they got Carlson. But Ottawa getting him back too, like, could you imagine? Like, Ottawa fans would be beside themselves happy. And I, again, I'm, I don't want to be the guy to sit here and be like, yeah, it's a possibility. If I was to, to rank him staying and going somewhere, I honestly think that I would have San Jose still near the top and then Montreal, then Ottawa. But there's going to be more teams that are interested. There probably are. But just off this report, that's what I wanted to talk about. So hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this video. Again, just my quick thoughts on the Carlson stuff. I had a couple people ask me about that. And again, I love talking about rumors. I love talking about trade signings. This is going to be the busiest month. And I'm going to be posting videos like crazy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. Love to have more hockey conversations with you. Join the squad to get to 6,000 subscribers. I appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video or stream. Peace.